What's up guys? My name is Shah Jaha and today we will talk about piston. Uh, before we begin, uh, you should know that a piston is the critical most component of an engine which is responsible for compressing air and fuel mixture into the combustion chamber and then after the explosion or you can say combustion it does takes the heat and pressure and converts or sends it to the connecting rod and therefore convert it into a mechanical some differences between a gasoline and a diesel piston but in general most of the things stay the same also a piston does differ in every engine it may have difference in its shape size or geometry but however the components you can say or the parts remain the same uh, right now you can see here i have drawn a diagram uh, in which you can see a piston reciprocates inside a cylinder now this is a piston connected to connecting rod and from the down side it is connected to a crankshaft here the piston is just moves between a top dead center and a bottom dead center so this is known as its reciprocation piston movement is transferred to connecting rod and then to crankshaft if you are preparing for your exam then you can draw this kind of diagram on your paper uh, it just took me one and a half minute you can see uh, here this piston is linked to a uh, connecting rod via piston pin inside now before we begin you should know piston is round and from inside it is hollow this rod is thermally fitted to the piston pin pin is basically floating in the piston pin bosses if you look closely you will find these little grooves these are for the purpose of lubrication so uh, here you can see i have made a nozzle this nozzle just throws a stream of engine oil on underside of piston in order to lubricate the pin and to withdraw heat of the head now if you look at the top you can see uh, the top this area is known as piston head or you can say it is a crown inside it you can see valve pockets here you can see there are four valve pockets one two three four obviously the bigger pockets are for intake valve and the smaller one are for exhaust valve coming downwards this region is generally known as heat barrier after heat barrier you, you will see compression ring groove number one and after that you can see this area between two rings is known as ring land and this one is for the compression ring number two after compression ring number two you will find the oil ring groove now the oil ring groove is much bigger than those compression ring grooves from this side this is known as piston skirt this is pin boss piston pin and this is also the piston skirt the oil expander ring basically collects the oil from liner and then uh, the oil flows from here to the inside and then again falls back to engine pan commercial cars mostly have casted pistons made out of aluminium alloy casted pistons are generally low cost and easy to produce however when it comes to the performance everyone prefers forged pistons when it comes to piston rings uh, you can see here I have drawn a uh, cutway of uh, all three rings. On the top you can see this is for compression ring number one. It is basically tapered made out of steel. When you look at the compression ring number two, it is tapered but it has a step inside. Now this thing may not be common in every engine. And coming to the third oil control ring. An oil control ring is basically made up of three rings. On top and bottom it has a thin backup ring. But between them is an expander ring. This expander ring basically acts to collect oil from the liner. So that's all for today. I hope you did like the video. Uh, do share your suggestions in the comment section. Share this video with your friends as much as possible. I'll come back to you again with another topic. Have a good day.